In February of 1992, EPLF establishes a provisional National Assembly comprised of the Central Committee formed back in 1976 and 64 appointed Assembly members. In April of 1993, the UN observes the Eritrean National Referendum by a 99.8% majority, making Eritrea an official country recognized by the world. On May 24, 1993, the Provisional National Assembly created by EPLF just one year earlier names Isaiah Saforki the first president of Eritrea. Also in May, disgruntled EPLF fighters stage an armed protest in Asmeta over continuing unpaid service. In February of 1994, EPLF holds its third congress and transforms itself into the People's Front for Democracy and Justice, also known as HIGDEF or PFDJ for short and a national charter for a future constitutional government is assembled. Isaya Soforki reveals the existence of the secret EPRP and assures the people that it is now dissolved. In March of 1994, Isaya appoints a 50-member constitution commission headed by the former EPLF representative to the UN, Etiket Hatteselassie. In May, the PFDJ government widely promotes a national service law for Eritrean youth military training in Sawa. In July, war disabled veterans protest unfair treatment and at least three of them are killed as a result and several others arrested. <laughs> In April of 1995, PFDJ decides to rid Eritrea of its historical provinces Saraya, Samhar, Senhit, Sahel, Hamasian, Dash Barka, Akalaguzai, and Denkel, replacing them with six general zones. In December of 1995, Eritrea battles the Yemeni army and takes control of disputed Hanish Islands. In 1996, Eritrea and Yemen send Hanish Island dispute to arbitration, and a couple years later, the international arbitration would divide the Hanish Islands among the two nations. In May of 1997, a 527-member assembly ratifies the constitution, but President Isaiah Saforki postpones the implementation. In May of 1998, a year after postponing the implementation of the constitution, a shootout in the disputed border village of Badame causes an all-out border war between Eritrea and Ethiopia. It is important to note that the disputed town of Badame was previously under the control of ELF but EPLF granted TPLF administration and control of Badame after the two groups drove ELF into Sudan back in 1981. EPRDF government begins mass expulsions of Ethiopian civilians of Eritrean descent. In January of 2000, the PFDJ Central Council calls on Isaiah Saforki to hold elections and he refuses. On June 18th of 2000, Eritrea and Ethiopia sign a ceasefire and agree to have the UN monitor compliance. In September, Eritrea's National Assembly debates Isaias' overall political transition to power, his handling of the costly border war, and set up a commission to define rules for multi-party elections. <laughs> Now, 
በከተ አንቀር ወያኔ አንድ ገበርናሉ ዝተማርና ያ ነገር አለና አለምናታ ሐግታ ታለዋ አለምናታ አካይዳ አለዋ አለምናታ ጠባ ያለዋ ለእና ኤርትራውያን ናይንዳማትና አይደለናም እንተ ሆነ ግን አብዚ ምስ ወያኔን ጎብሮዝ ነበርና መከተ ዳርጋ አይሩፍቲ አይኖሩና እንተበልና ዝጋነን አይኮነም ስለዚህ ሐሳብና ከንገብራለና አብዛ ዓለም እዚ ንበይንና ተነጥልና ከነብር ስለዚህ ንኽእል ዓለም ከመይ አትኸይት ንዓለም ከነ ሐጉስ ኢልና ጥራይ ዘይኮነ ንዓና ዝጠቅመና ነገራት ዓለም ከአትደልዮ ነገራት እንዳይ ፈሊጥና አዛኒቅና ከንከይት ዘለና ምዋና ዝተማርና ይመስለኒ እዚ ሕጂ ኸልዕለልኩም ጸናሕኩ ብዛዕባ ናይ ኮንስቲትዩሽን ንዓና ብቐንዱ ስለዘድልየና አካይዳና ገምጊምና ኸነጽፍ ስለዘለና ብመሰረቱን ዲሞክራሲያዊ ኤርትራ ንናና ዘለና ድሌት ዘገድዶ ስለዝኾነ ኢና ንገብር ምርጫታና In December, Eritrea and Ethiopia signed the Algiers Agreement turning the border dispute over to an international commission. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to the Pan African Eritrean YouTube channel and follow at Pan African Eritrean on IG as we continue delivering content that aims to decolonize our minds and help us grow in knowledge, understanding and respect. Peace.